It's October, and you know what that means. It's time for the Roger William Park Zoo's Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. And that's where we find Brendan this morning. Good morning, Brendan. How you doing? Hey, Mary, it's so lovely to hear your voice. Thank you so much for uh, filling in today and pinch hitting on the road show this Friday morning. And before I continue, Will, a happy 50th birthday to you, buddy. I'm so sorry I can't be there in studio to jump out of a cake for you. But as disturbingly great as that would be, oh, well, you know what? Maybe we'll do it later, pal. <laughs> but that's not why we're here at the zoo today. It is time, of course, as Mary said, for the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. And joining us right here this morning, two of our favorites, Dr. Jeremy Goodman from Roger Williams Park Zoo and, of course, Barbara Cotter from Citizens Bank. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We're going to start with you, sir. It's hard to believe it's here again. What do we need to know? So the 2019 edition of Jack Lynch and Spectacular is incredible. Um, our theme this year is the, the four seasons. Uh, so we'll take you on a journey as we always do. We have so much going on. And, and uh, one of our favorite skits here is the conservationists. Uh, and we feature con the great conservationists of the world, Jane Goodall, Jacques Cousteau, and quite honestly, our own Lou Parati, who's our director conservation here because we're so proud of the work that he does with all of our staff here and actually the zoo was nominated and won the North American Conservation Award for our work with the New England Contel. So it's all on a pumpkin. It really is a spectacular apropos the word right there but you know not only are we is it a wonder for our senses are we coming in here are we having fun we're taking photos whatever but we're really learning something especially with this con uh, conservationist uh, aspect correct? Yeah the, the, the spectacular is just such a great show for families to come and discuss things with their kids. I mean, you know, they, we have everything from Marvel comics and uh, and conservation heroes, the Four Seasons, uh, you know, just there's history here, there's there's nature, there's, there's everything, and it's just a great way to start conversations with people and, and, and learn about things. Yeah, I almost called it a conversationalist aspect <laughs> right there, but let's talk about hours, when people can come. You told me it all started last night, correct? Right, so uh, it started last night. Uh, show opens up every night at 6 p.m. Uh, and goes through November uh, 3rd, so uh, come on out. We have our uh, theme nights on Wednesday and Thursday nights. So uh, we have princesses one night. We have uh, gaming another night. And we have uh, um, superheroes in, uh, the next week after that. So uh, just always so much to do here. Tremendous. And Barbara, for you guys as citizens being involved once again, let's talk about your involvement and really what it all means to you guys. It is. Uh, citizens is thrilled to be the presenting sponsor again. We've been doing it for more than a decade. And for us, it's all about community, bringing the community together, grandparents and grandchildren, teenagers, friends, families, come on down and enjoy the glow of the jack-o'-lantern. There's nothing more iconic, I think, here in New England, in Rhode Island. You can't have fall without a trip to the jack-o'-lantern spectacular. I agree with you there. Is your face on any of these pumpkins, Barbara? It is not. <laughs> Lou Parati deserves it for his conservation work with beetle bugs and bunnies. Um, you know, that's a good point. Everybody who comes here is supporting the educational aspect that goes on year round at Roger Williams Park Zoo, which is a jewel. So come enjoy the super hand. Uh, the superheroes. Right. There's angels, an unbelievable angel display, and of course, you'll end with the laughing tree. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Barbara. Dr. Goodman, always a pleasure seeing you guys. We're going to have much more as the morning rolls on, you guys. For now, back to you. I will that I've ordered the giant cake so we can still make that happen a little bit later today, maybe around two-ish if he wants to hang around. So you're probably wondering, well, <laughs> what nonsense is Brendan up to now? Well, I've just been alone with my thoughts here, very pensive looking out upon the water. But we wanted to take you back here into one of the exhibits, one of the skits, if you will, on display at the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. Now, it's not every day that someone gets to be back here. I'm sure I'll be bounced out for trespassing. As you can see, as far as the eye can see, everything is so well done. Each and every attraction here, so ornate, so beautiful. Many hours have gone into the entire thing to make it ready for you guys. So that way, when you come out, it really is spectacular for you all to see. Uh, we want to show you over here. I mean, I was just admiring everything going on here. I could be mistaken, but I, I'm pretty sure this is the only thing in the zoo here today whiter than me because you've seen my complexion before. But that could be right there. As far as the eye can see, we have it all. And as we went to break, you had the opportunity to see, yes, the most 
beautiful pumpkin in the entire jack-o'-lantern spectacular. Look at this trio right here. I think this could be the best one yet. We've got the birthday boy right there. Doesn't he look great? And yes, the one and only, the lovely Michaela Johnson, who will be coming back to the show. Yes, thank you for all of the emails and uh, Facebook messages. And last but not least, the only thing that would make this pumpkin better is if this guy could just be airbrushed right out. I mean, would you sit next to that guy on a bus? I don't know. But that's not why we're here for me to make fun of myself. Let's meet the man of the hour himself. He has worked on this thing from the beginning. We'll turn you right around here, buddy. John Reckner, how are you? Good to see you again. That time of the year, huh? It's nice to see you. So you, sir, talk about your history. I mean, you've been making this thing happen since the beginning, haven't you? Uh, 31 years now. And uh, we're excited about this show. The scene you're looking at now will have snow covers, snow coming down, and this is just a partial uh, description of what we got here. Does it seem possible that it's been over three decades now for you? I would have never thought I'd still be doing this. Well, we are very lucky yeah. that you are still doing it. Is there anything for you that year after year remains your favorite aspect of this? Is it the preparation? Is it the teamwork? Is it seeing the people? Is it all of those things? What is it for you? I think it's all of them. Uh, all the people that we have take a month or two out of their lives to put this and dedicate themselves to doing that. And so the people who put this on are really the special ones. And it really is a year-long process. Process. I mean, the minute this one ends, you are already forecasting, looking ahead to the next one, because you know you have a responsibility here, uh, albeit very fun, but also you want to make it great. Well, that's uh, exactly it. And we have to come up with a new theme every year. So next year, we haven't any idea yet, but uh, I'm sure by end of January, we'll have something. You'll be ready to go. And we can't thank you enough for the Roadshow Pumpkin. I oh, mean, you guys are great. I mean, thank you so much. It I make jokes and everything, but it really is a thrill for us. I mean, I'm sure this will be the most popular one. I would think so. <laughs> huh? That'll sit nicely in the studio. It sure will. Well, it's a great pleasure to see you as always. Thank you, sir. Oh, likewise. Thank and, you so much. And best of luck. Um, if you guys want to come out, it's all happening. It kicked off last night, of course. You can see the Roadshow Pumpkin. You can see any of these spectacular ones they have here uh, at the zoo. We are going to have much more from this location here this morning. For now, back to you. Out to, uh, to Brendan back at Roger Williams Park Zoo and Jack o Lantern Spectacular 2019. Oh, I like the way you said that, Will. Yes, with such force and vigor. I love it. But we are here. Roger Williams Park Zoo is the spot. The Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular kicked off last night. It is all happening here, you guys. Everyone has done such a beautiful job. It really does look awesome, so you'll want to come check it out. I know it's probably part of your annual routine, but make sure that it is. And look, we've got Mario here. We've got Black Panther here. He and I go to the same gym, as you can see right there. But of course, these guys are all part of the celebration. Dr. Goodman, there is a, a really a unique component to just about every attraction here isn't there there is so the trail starts off with our, our comic book superheroes and uh, which we have represented here so um, uh, Wednesdays and Thursday nights uh, every throughout the show we have a different theme so we start with a, a fairy tale fantasy theme with all the princesses we encourage the kids to come in costume and then we go to gaming nights where obviously I'm sure Mario will be there and <laughs> then uh, we finish up with our, our Marvel superheroes so it's it's a great time uh, we have our weekday savings so uh, uh, you know, definitely you want to come out and experience that. Absolutely. And of course, the lovely Elsa. But Sarah, of course, let's talk about where you're from, your involvement. Let us know. Um, I run Wingmaker Entertainment, and we are supplying the characters for the character nights. So we're debuting some brand new characters at some of our nights. Uh, we'll have some of your favorite princes and princesses, uh, as well as your favorite superheroes. Um, a few surprises for you and some fun gaming characters, so you never know who's going to show up. Um, and we're the ones that provide all those characters for the zoo. Yeah, and for those unfamiliar with what it is you do, I mean, in addition to just this celebration of the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, I mean, is there a way we can get in touch with you, a way we can learn more all about what it is you you offer? Sure. Um, we're on Facebook under Wingmaker Entertainment, uh, and we do all sorts of parties. Uh, we can provide characters for both kids' parties, adults' parties, um, whatever you need. We can specially design characters. I'm the costumer myself. Um, so if you have anything particular in mind, we can definitely do that. 
Look at these guys ready to go. They are just filled with enthusiasm right there. And that really is what it's all about, having some fun. You can really enhance any celebration. And it's really all about, especially the kids, because um, watching their faces light up when they see Black Panther um, or see their favorite prince or princess, um, it's, it's pretty magical. Absolutely. If you need a prince to fill one of those costumes, just let me. <laughs> and Dr. Goodman, let's review, you know, hours, all the logistics, things that people need to know if they're coming out. Right. So uh, show's going on now through November 3rd. Uh, opens up at 6 p.m. Weekends, Friday, Saturday. Um, weekends are all time ticketing only, so make sure to go online, reserve your uh, spot uh, with the time ticking. We don't really don't have those lines that we used to have anymore, so um, come on out on the weekends, on the weekdays, see the characters, and it all supports a great cause in the zoo with all of our conservation education heroes, because our staff that, uh, you know, that run the zoo every single day, those are the real superheroes. You guys all do a remarkable job, and that's why it is always such a pleasure for us to join you and to work with you. Uh, segment after segment, if you will. But, you know, when we rolled in here today, speaking of, you know, the flow of traffic, people worry about parking. They worry about how things are going to go. It seems like you have a pretty good system out there that is, has been working well. We do. Once we've shifted to the time ticketing on the weekends, all those incredible long lines really disappeared. So buy your time slot, uh, buy it early um, so you can get the, the real prime ones and, uh, you know, just come on out and enjoy the show because uh, our people are so great as far as moving the cars in and out. And uh, it's really an incredible experience, both uh, coming to the zoo and once you're inside. Do you have a favorite uh, exhibit here? Do you oh, like them all? I, I was going through all the pumpkins, and <laughs> I haven't quite picked out my favorite yet, but uh, I can tell you that this year's show really tops them all. Well, it's our pleasure to be here. Thank you very much, as always, and Sarah, great pleasure to you, or Elsa, I shall say. Black Panther Mario, guys, thank you very much for being here. We've had a great morning. Look at this. If anything happens, they're ready to spring into to action is what they are. You guys will want to check out the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular happening here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. It's a lot of fun. Back to you.